Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be comparing two softwares, two of the most popular editing softwares on Windows, two I've used personally, the last two video editors I've used. I'm going to be talking about my experience, comparing them to which one you should buy. This is my, my experience, obviously my opinion, so you know, don't hate on me. But I'm basically starting this series where I compare two softwares to help you guys make the best decision possible. I'll be talking about the pros and cons, my experience, stuff like that, what I recommend. Um, you know, just the benefits of each program. If you have any two programs that you want me to, I guess, compare, um, just leave them in the comment section. I'll go through everything and yeah. So just to put this out there, just to put this out there, I've used Premiere Pro for about a month and a half. I've used Vegas Pro for a, about a year and a half. So I do not fully know everything about a Premiere Pro. I kind of have the feel for it. I, I know everything about Vegas Pro. I, like I've edited it for like basically the entire time I've had my YouTube channel. Let me just start off with the price points because money is probably the biggest factor to your decision process, unless you're rich, of course. But here's the thing. The, the payment process, the payment plan is different between these two softwares. Premiere Pro is a monthly subscription or yearly subscription, so you can choose to pay um, monthly or yearly. There's also a discount for students. Yeah, for like I'm, I, I have that right now. And Vegas Pro, I believe you pay once and you keep it forever and you get updates and stuff like that, obviously. Same thing with uh, Premiere Pro, you get updates. But the difference is for Vegas, that one-time fee, I believe is like $800, $900. If you have the money upfront, you can pay for it. You know, you keep it forever. On the other hand, there's a monthly subscription or yearly subscription. So you can choose it to, you can choose to get it for a year and maybe forget about it for an entire year and then have to pay the other year. But most people go with the monthly subscription and you can actually get it for, I believe, 50% cheaper if you're a student, which I am. So I'm getting for cheaper and I'm getting it for about $20 a month. And this is not just for Premiere Pro. This is for every Adobe application. This includes Photoshop. Photoshop alone, like, sounds really expensive. It, is, it sounds like it should be like $800. It isn't. I also get Illustrator. I also get After Effects, Adobe Edition. There's so many things. So essentially, you're getting like, 10 programs in one off you know so if you're looking for the best thing for your for your money i'd go with premiere pro no doubt no doubt like you're getting everything you want like you you can you can you can edit stuff in after effects you can edit stuff in photoshop you have the whole deal like if you're starting a youtube channel get premiere pro however i can't say that for everyone because if you're like me and you're maybe transitioning from a cheaper alternative like filmora or camtasia Premiere Pro is probably gonna be really hard for you because it took me around a month and a half just to learn the basics. I'm talking about like splitting clips, like cutting clips, like how to import media. Like I did not know how to import media, how how to render a video. Rendering was probably the hardest thing. I did not understand what rendering was because it said Q and I was like, what, what does Q mean? I didn't know how to edit the audio or anything like that. So. If you if you want to edit right now, you want to you you don't you want to buy a video editor that's easy to use and stuff like that. It doesn't require a lot of learning. Vegas Pro is perfect for you, honestly, because I came from Camtasia Studio Eight. It was okay, you know, you know, okay, but it didn't look good. That's the first thing. It really didn't look good, and it was kind of it crashed a lot. So I used Vegas Pro. Um, rendering was a lot slower. I'll say that one one thing for sure. Rendering's a lot slower with Vegas Pro. However, from 13 to 14, it's a lot faster. And if you didn't know, uh, Sony actually sold it, uh, sold Vegas Pro to Magic. So Magic now owns it. So it's Magic Vegas Pro 14. And basically, there's a lot of improvements from 13 to 14. So if you're looking to buy Vegas 13 or 14, get 14. Obviously, I believe it's the same price anyways. But with Vegas, it's a lot easier to navigate. It's a lot easier to learn. Um, all the shortcuts are basically the same from previous versions. All of them are based, all the shortcuts, all the navigation is basically the same thing from alternatives as well. So like splitting's like S, really easy, right? Control V, control, you know, it's really easy. Like the shortcuts are ba basically universal to like comparable to a lot of other video editors, a lot of other softwares. While you look at Premiere, After Effects shortcuts for cutting or, or for splitting is different on After Effects than Premiere Pro and they're made by the same like company. On Premiere Pro to cut, you have to press like, I believe C and then you have to click on the track. For Vegas, you can press on the track and press S and it splits. 
it's just a lot easier with Vegas. And I just, I just, it's so much easier to edit with Vegas, but I feel like if I were to edit on Premiere a lot more, it, it come natural to me, but it's not coming natural to me right now. Also the thing with Vegas, it's a lot easier to, I guess, navigate through menus and stuff like that. It's really easy to render. You literally press render, select a template. Summary, something about Premiere Pro really like confuses me. I'm not sure why, but there's just so much menu. Like I didn't know how to render for the first month. I did not. I literally started using Premiere about a year ago, stopped using it because I didn't know how to zoom in on a track. So for one thing, Premiere, hard to learn. A lot of menus, very confusing at first, but it's probably worth it at the end. So if you do not care about the learning curve, go for Premiere Pro, it's cheaper as well. You get all Adobe products. You can do motion tracking, 3D text, stuff like that in After Effects, putting it there. You could also get Adobe Audition, probably one of the best audio you know, softwares. You can get that as well. Illustrator, you can make yourself logos. Um, Photoshop, you can make everything in Photoshop. Photoshop's like the best. And if you go to Vegas, easy to use, no learning really required, easy to navigate, it's a lot more efficient, I'd say, with Vegas. But if you compare the render speeds, this is something that's render speeds, render speeds. Let me talk about render speeds. So I'd say the render speed on Premiere right here, uh, actually I have Premiere open right here, is slightly faster. But that's just my PC. And I think my quality, like my video resolution, like it, it went up like from 30 to 60 FPS and stuff like that. And it really contributes to this rendering time. But my friends have told me that Premiere Pro is a lot faster in rendering. I haven't experienced that um, because I probably increased the settings and stuff like that on Premiere Pro while I didn't do that in Vegas. But for sure, Premiere Pro has faster rendering. It also has a lot more options to increase quality. So there's like maximum bit depth, um, maximum quality render you can also export it like make it go through twice by selecting two pass i made a whole tutorial on this um you can select from a lot more templates as well i don't know i just i just feel like premiere pro is for that filmmaker for that gaming like guy who's people who make a lot of edits should use premiere pro because there's so much more there's even like color correction like color correction is there's a lot of color correct like there's a lot of options for color correction and effects because there is integration with after effects um for color correction particularly you don't have to download a plugin for um lut presets so any light tables you have you can insert a preset luts are basically like vosco filters you know very helpful for color grading stuff like that while uh vegas pro everything you want really comes in a plugin and a lot of them are paid so that's the bad thing. A lot more people use uh, Premiere Pro. So what this means is developers and people will create a lot more presets and a lot more, a lot more things for Premiere Pro. Like one of the most popular presets is probably the Baker Tuts like zoom in transition, the ones that are in the beginning of my videos where it zooms in on my face. I don't think that's possible on Vegas Pro. You can obviously make it, but things like those are offered more in Premiere Pro because it's Adobe, a lot of people use it, has integration with After Effects, a lot, of, a lot of these cool transitions are made with After Effects. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, I just recommend Vegas to anyone transitioning from a cheaper alternative who doesn't want to, you know, learn how to do, you know, more stuff and is happy with just fast working, a fast workflow. Premiere Pro will take you a couple months, maybe more. Um, to learn everything. There's a lot of menus. There's a lot to learn. But if you want to invest your time in anything, invest in Premiere Pro. Also, because it comes in a, um, the Adobe Creative Cloud thing, if you do not have Photoshop and you know you need that stuff, go for this. If you're a beginning YouTuber, go for this and spend six months learning this. I feel like if I started with Premiere Pro, my videos would be a lot better now because Premiere Pro has everything to offer and I would have mastered it by now, but I have not mastered it yet. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully it helped you make a decision. I know it's all over the place. Um, I'll leave everything in the description, everything. I made a bunch of videos on two of these software. So if you want to see those videos, um, description, comment below, have a discussion, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy. My name's Steven and I'll see you in the next one.